Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Today we're going to look at how to set up Chromecast. So here's the box. Chromecast, cast your favorite entertainment to the TV. And of course it's a Google product by our friends at Google. And here are a couple of um, apps that are compatible with Chromecast. We have our famous YouTube, Netflix, Crave TV, Major League Baseball TV, Show Me, Google Play of course and a couple others and of course there are a ton more of the apps that are compatible with Chromecast I'm sure you guys know that and the way to tell is when you're in your app look for that little logo looks like a little Wi-Fi signal on the TV screen when you see that when you're in your app you press that and then you automatically will um, be streaming right on your television set whatever's on your device which is really cool because a lot of times you're playing you know your Netflix on your your phone or you have some favorite videos on your phone or you have a TV service on your phone or tablet and hey wouldn't it be great if you can just press a button and just stream all that great content on your large screen TV so that's what this is all about so let me show you how to configure it it's pretty straightforward pretty easy so this is the box here here's a Chromecast unit and there should be a power supply in here as well little mini USB plug at the end that's all that's in the box so here look at the back of my TV set and over here we have our Chromecast device and the power supply for the Chromecast so the first thing we're going to do is just connect the power supply into the Chromecast so the Chromecast has a mini USB port there I plug this in like so and then what I'm going to do is take this end of the Chromecast device take off the little cover as you can see it's an HDMI plug I'm going to plug it into one of the HDMI ports in the back of my TV so I have HDMI port 1 available here so I'm going to plug it into HDMI port 1 in the back of my TV and then what I'm going to do is just take this velcro strap off so I have some cable length here and I'm just going to plug this into the wall so here's the uh, power supply as I said I'll plug this into the wall outlet in this case I have a surge strip so now we're powered up and we're ready to run so let's go to HDMI 1 right here and here we are so Chromecast is pretty much just booting up right booting up by the firmware so as you can see, once you've um, selected your HDMI input um, and Chromecast boots up by itself, that's that little device on the back of the TV. Once when it's done, you see this. You actually get this nice looking Windows 10 looking background. Uh, you see the time there. And what it does, it just cycles through these lovely um, screensaver backdrops, right? And in the lower um, left hand corner there, uh, you see the little Chromecast icon and what you also see is the word Chromecast and then a four digit number so that Chromecast and four digit number is the ID of that Chromecast device on the back of the television and the next thing we do is then now go to our mobile device and from there we just complete the setup process so let's do that now so the next thing you do is go into your tablet or your smartphone it doesn't matter and open your browser I'm gonna open my browser here just type www oops www dot chromecast dot com forward slash setup okay tap the button below so I'm gonna tap this button here and I'm gonna download the Google Home app So Google Home is now the new app, and this is the app that you use to control your Chromecast. So I'm going to install Google Home. So 50 million downloads, so this is a popular app. I'm not surprised. Okay, it's installed. Let's open it. Let's get started. So I'm going to choose a uh, my, you know, you have your own Gmail account, so I'm going to use my 
personal Gmail account. So obviously it's blocked out, so you don't know what it is, but you know what I mean. So it's looking for devices, so it should detect my Chromecast device. So as you can see here, it has found my device. So this is the, my device, Chromecast 8226 is my ID. So of course, your Chromecast device will have another ID, right? So I don't have a problem showing this with to you because this is just a test device that I borrowed So uh, for the purpose of this video, so that's cool. So this is what you're going to find in your device. You see one device found and then there's your Chromecast. So it's saying it's ready for setup, so I'm going to say yes, set up. Would you like to set up the Chromecast A226? Yes, so go next. So it's connecting to Chromecast. Now, what you need, to, of course, of course, your device has to be set up uh, to your Wi Fi in your home or in your office, of course. So it has connected to the device. So now, what I have to do now is go into my TV, turn it back on, and let's see if this code, D5S8, is on the screen and if it is that means I'm connected to the right Chromecast device because obviously if you have multiple Chromecast devices in your home or in your office uh, you, you need a way to identify which is which right so this code will let you will help you identify your device so let's go into the TV now and see it's a setup screen that just came up and there's the code D5S8 so it says here to continue following instructions on your phone, tablet or laptop. So let's go back to the laptop. So let's click yes here because we do see that code. So where is this device? Uh, let's just say I'm in the uh, I'm in the den. Next. Now it says connect to Wi-Fi. So choose the Wi-Fi network you would like to use with your Chromecast. So I'm just going to connect to my, as I said, remember I said earlier you need to have Wi-Fi hooked up, uh, connected on your, or set up on your tablet or device, this is why. You now have to, at this point, uh, connect to your Wi-Fi in your home. So I'm going to do that right now, so that's my ID, which I of course have hidden from the world. So let me go set that up. Next. And um, Google Home app can automatically get your Wi-Fi password from this device. So that's great, and I do have a safe password. But if you don't, it will, you know, give you a setup page where you, you, know, you uh, type in your Wi-Fi password. So that's good. I'll just type OK, and we're connected. And here we're linking our Chromecast. And what it's doing, it's just using my Google account to personalize my experience. So I can press Continue now, and I sign up later to skip that almost done that's good continue and my den tv is ready so all it says now is just look for the cast button in your favorite video and music apps to watch on the big screen so it shows you here it says tap this cast button so this is the button i was telling you about earlier whatever app you're in if it is chromecast compatible you would see this app it looks like a screen with a wi-fi signal signal in the lower left hand corner all you do is press that and then you're going to get this menu asking you to cast to and then you're going to see your your television that you have hooked up I just click on select that and that's it right now if I go to my TV you're going to see this uh, video being shown on the on my main TV but what I'm going to do I'm not going to show this video I'm actually going to go into real YouTube and use my content <laughs> show you my content right because you know copyright issues I don't want to be showing other content on my on my channel so let's do that right now so I'm going to go to so here's my channel so let me show you how you can cast uh, from my YouTube channel here onto the screen so and right here we have the Google cast uh, the Chromecast um, icon I just press on that and then it asks me cast to then TV so yes so but let me just go over to the TV and before I press this let's just show you the big screen TV so let's just move it over to the TV so here's the tablet so here we have the cast to then TV let's press that and here we 
we are. So as soon as that my YouTube channel is successfully connected to the TV. So all I have to do now, I can click any of my videos here and play. And here we are, we actually are streaming directly onto the television set. And sound comes through as well. On the other hand, it's also a portable gaming console. But I'm sure you already knew that because this is one of the hottest items right now. So one thing to note, when you're yeah. streaming, the video actually doesn't show on your portable device, it just shows on the TV set, right? Station for the switch. And as you can hear, the sound came through. Sound comes through and everything. Pretty cool. Now again, YouTube is just one example. I can look at Netflix, for example. And then there's my um, Chromecast icon. Let's click on that. Yes, play on this device. And as you can see here, it's on the big screen television set, right? Netflix. So it says ready to cast. So I can just start any show. Let me just quickly just put a demo around this one. A little kid show, Super Wings. And see, there you go. Instant Netflix on the big screen TV through your tablet. Now again, you don't see the video playing on the tablet, it just plays on the TV itself and that's what you want, right? Easy peasy. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up your Chromecast and set it up for your television set. And I just use YouTube as an example, but there are lots of apps that are compatible. Just look for that Chromecast um, um, icon in your favorite video app, um, like Daily Motion on you know, YouTube or Crackle or whatever. Press that and presto, you're on your big screen TV. Sound and video. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it as well. And you should also check my website at redtechbot.com for other really cool tech, blog, and gadget and toy reviews. All right. So until next time, this is Richie signing off from Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Hey everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples. There's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once. And, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have... You know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.